got to the field now. Got got everything we're all ready. But one thing before I start, one of my friends, Aaron Vasquez, uh, a guy that I was with in Uruguay actually, right now he's in Brazil. He started documenting his own journey. Um, so I think it'd be really cool if you checked him out. He just posted his first video. Um, and it was actually, it was actually pretty good. Um, I've been telling him to do it for the longest time, so I'm glad that he was able to, you know, get out of his comfort zone. So I'll post the link in the description um, so you can go check him out. Um, but other than that, we are gonna get started. And it's time to suffer. That sun is beating on me. All right, so this is just a warm up. Um, I'm gonna narrate some of the training session just because, you know, I wanna explain what I'm doing. But yeah, this is just a warm up to get some touches in. Um, it's hot, so it's just, you know, controlling my breath and just making good passes, good technique um, consistently. to hit the net um, consistently you know and you can see right here it's it's difficult um, but in a game there's a lot of times you do that you take a quick touch and then you just got to look up and then ping the ball so that's what this drill is working on body for the long ball. Okay, so this is one of my favorite drills to do. Um, I'm just working on really close control, trying to run with the ball, and right there I hit the cone. So that's really the goal, is just trying to sprint without touching any of the cones. Um, and you can't see it, but before I'm doing this, I'm doing a circuit of dribbling uh, before that, just going in like a figure eight, 
and then picking up momentum. So it's very difficult, you know, to keep balance. Um, it might not look that hard, but when you're trying to run full speed with the ball, trying to avoid things and trying to, you know, put the ball in the corner, it can be difficult. So this definitely needs work, but I think it's a great drill. All right, we finished up, back home. Yeah, it was tiring. It was a good session, you know, um, just trying to improve, but you know, it's tough when your body is tight and you know, you got ish going on, but it is what it is, you gotta keep it pushing. And then in the last drill, I've really been trying to focus on that. I've been doing that for like a week or so. Just trying to sprint with the ball um, and like keep it controlled, stay balanced. And as you can tell from the video, like I'm pretty bad at it. The thing is like the amount of times you do that in a game, you're not gonna do that often. Like if I'm able to do that, it, it adds something to, to my game, you know? And then my balance, my coordination, when I, like that final step, the final pass, like it has to be better. Um, and I know it's not, it's just not where it needs to be, in my opinion, but that's why you, you know, you train, you work. The Barcelona and Real Madrid, Athletic Bilbao, have never been relegated yeah. from the Premier Division. It's something to be admired, I have to say. Well, it's real, and Rodney still going. Look at this, Kevin. It's a brilliant run from Messi. Going to go all the way. If you see the way he's just running with the ball, like from one second to the next, he creates so much space. He carries the ball so far. Um, there's moments in the game where I can't do that and sometimes I just pass back or, you know. So that's just something I really want to improve on. But your boy is tired, so we're about to eat lunch, smoothie time, watermelon time, and we keep it pushing from there, baby.
just finished the uh, workout. Um, let me move away from here. You guys weren't able to see the end of the workout because my phone or the camera got started overheating. Um, unfortunately, because the last like 10 minutes of the workout was like the hardest part of it. Um, it was abs and I was, I was suffering like crazy. Um, and then I did like a cool down. Um, I just stretched for a little bit. So yeah, I think it's just really good. I've been trying to do this more often, just trying to go outside, uh, whether it's stretching, whether it's like just meditating, reading, um, or working out like I just did now. I find it really helps like my mental, just getting outside, getting like, uh, getting sunlight. And like towards the end, I took off my headphones while I was stretching. I was just listening to the, like the noises around me, like the birds, the, the bugs, even like the cars just going by, just like trying to be present. Um, I find that it really helps me, like, especially when I do this in the morning, I find like it really helps uh, um, clear my mind, I guess, and just like calm me down. But yeah, it was a good workout. Um, I definitely suggest it. Um, maybe not come in the middle of the day like I did because it was really hot. But again, that also like uh, goes back to like the book that I showed you that I was reading in the last video, Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. Um, I finished that book. Uh, I love the book. I've been watching all his podcasts, all his videos. And like something like today where it, it'd be better to, or easier to work out um, in air conditioning and like have a TV in front of me or whatever or whatnot, you know? Your mind's always gonna tell you, I'm done, I'm cooked, I don't have any more left. And that's when you have more to give, you know what I mean? When you reach that point, you still have more to give. And so I kind of felt that today, like I had already trained, it was hot, I'm tired. And I was like, you know, I might as well just work out outside, get even more sweat, get even hotter. And you know, little things like that, they add up. So um, yeah, I don't want to keep waffling. I'm, I'm exhausted. Um, so I'll see you, uh, I'll see you in a bit. So yeah, just got out of the shower. Right now I'm editing. Actually a highlight tape. Um, just going over this stuff from this summer and from when I was in Spain. So yeah, I'm gonna do this for a little bit and then uh, just chill the rest of the night, so. questions that you guys have i normally do this like once a week so yeah my instagram is right here um link in the description you can follow that but yeah other than that that is uh that is my day that's the video um if you stuck around to the end i appreciate you you know just gotta take things a day at a time you know just trying to prepare for when i go back to spain so yeah tough day but you know it's a blessing to even be able to train and be healthy enough to do the things that I'm doing. So yeah, with that being said, um, make sure to walk by faith, um, believe in yourself, have faith in God. You, you gotta suffer, you gotta enjoy the suffering. Um, and that's what that's what you wanna do every day, just suffer. Uh, as weird as that sounds, but you know, that's really the goal. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>